What's up guys? In this video I'm going to break down exactly how to take and choose better pictures for your online dating profile. I know it's an area where a lot of men struggle so I want to make a very clear and concise video on this topic. And we're going to do this by taking a look at several examples of guys who had shitty profiles. I'm going to explain exactly why their pictures weren't working. Then I'm going to show you what they did to improve their profile and then break down why those pictures worked and why the previous ones didn't so that you guys can replicate their success. All right, so let's take a look at our first example. This is a guy who was convinced that online dating just didn't work for him. He tried different apps, different profile setups, different bios, nothing worked. He was getting maybe one match a month and he was super frustrated. So let's take a look at his pictures and try to figure out why. And as I pull up this first picture, you can probably see exactly what's going on. This picture is atrocious. The vast majority of chicks who saw his profile were not making it past the first photo. So this is bad for two reasons. First of all, it's really post, right? So it's kind of like, get the picture. It just doesn't really make sense for someone to be taking a picture of him talking on the cell phone. Like generally your friends are like, oh dude, look at you. You can talk on the phone. Let's get a picture of this, right? So for that reason, it looks very posed. But secondly, also like look at his face, right? He just looks, it's not a good representation of him. He's one of those people who doesn't look good when they fake a smile. And I fall into the category as well. I kind of see I just don't look good when I try to fake a smile, right? And for, you know, if you're in this category, the solution is not to fake a smile, right? It's okay if you look serious in your profile pictures. When you're getting photos done, just try to have fun with the photographer, crack some, you know, dick jokes, whatever. Just try to have a good time. And if you can naturally smile, it's gonna be a good thing. If not, then you're just gonna have a more serious profile. That's okay as well. It's a much, much better option than trying to fake a smile and looking like this. Second photo. So this one's a lot better. If I had to rate his previous profile picture, it would be one out of 10. This one's maybe like a four out of 10. So it's a lot better. Uh, you know, he looks a little bit broody, but that's okay. Uh, you know, he's got his coffee cup on. Uh, the issue is that this picture doesn't, it shows off his face clearly, that's good, but it's not like a cool activity picture. He's just kind of in the middle of nowhere, just sitting, drinking coffee. So it's like, okay, you can drink coffee, that's cool. So it's kind of neutral. It doesn't really add much, but doesn't really detract anything either. But I think the issue is that most pic most girls weren't making it past this previous picture, so they didn't. 99% of girls didn't even get to see this photo. Next picture is really bad, and this is mainly due to body language. So this is kind of him. Right, it kind of hurts for me just to sit like this. His body language is just atrocious, right? You want to do basically the opposite of what he's doing in this picture. You want to be relaxed, at ease, taking up space, kind of like kind of like this, right? You know, I'm taking up a lot of space. I look relaxed. I just look like I'm at ease versus, you know, super tense and super uptight. So that's definitely going to be a big turnoff to tricks on a subconscious level and probably even conscious level. Also, he kind of has an awkward look on his face, so he doesn't look good in this. And also, he's got the same setting as the previous photo, where it's kind of like this weird, you know, wood thing so girls gonna be like oh what is this like his layer or something like that so also no go now next pick is you know you can kind of see what he's trying to do he's trying to show off the fact that you know he has a hobby photography which is good you know that's a high value thing the problem is that this picture was taken from downwards angle which makes him look shorter so that's a no-go you always want to take pictures from either neutral angle or downwards angle so for that reason also it's cropped really badly right he's only taking up about half the frame which again makes him look kind of short and meek so this picture should be cropped maybe an inch above his head something like that so he's taking up most of the frame next pick so uh, this one's going to be maybe a 2.5 out of 10. Uh, he doesn't look too terrible in it. It's just mainly his energy. He just kind of looks like he's just like in a bad mood, like he was just stuck in traffic for four hours. He has to take a shit really badly, and he just wants this photo shoot to be over with. His pants are really wrinkled. You know, that's also girls going to notice these little details. Funny enough, he's wearing the same exact shoes that I am. But aside from that, this is a fairly poor picture. Uh, you know, it looks kind of posed. He's just like, Okay, let's do this. Let's get this picture over with. That's kind of the vibe it gives off. Last picture. So this picture actually looks pretty natural. He's not posing for it or anything like that. The problem is that with the, with the way the lighting is and the way his eyes are, he looks very feminine in it. So it's a natural looking pic, but he doesn't look good in it. So you kind of see the pattern here that you know all, all these pics that he has are either he doesn't look natural in them, he just looks really posed, or he doesn't look good in them, or usually a combination of both those things, including some poor cropping and some poor body language. Now, let's take a look at his profile after we made some changes. 
So this is a lot better. His first picture is, again, just a nine day difference. Is this a perfect 10 out of 10? No, but I would put this picture at a six, 6.5 out of 10, you know, compared to what he was doing earlier. First of all is he's not staring directly at the camera. It doesn't look like he's posed. Kind of looked like he was just doing some shit in the city and someone just took a picture of him, right? Even though that's not the case, that's kind of the vibe it gives off. Second of all, he looks a lot better in it. He kind of looks like a businessman or, you know, just an entrepreneur, someone who's doing their thing. Like he doesn't look like some awkward, you know, just creepy guy hiding in the corner. His body language is a lot better. He's kind of, he has his chest out, his shoulders back, so that's a lot better. He's also zoomed out the background, which is a cool little technique for making yourself look a little bit better in like the center of attention. So again, 6.5 out of 10. Next picture is definitely quite good. I think this might be the best one out of the bunch. It looks very natural, right? He's just pouring some wine. He's just chilling, right? In addition, he also looks pretty good in this picture. He has, you know, he has a suit on. Uh, it's form fitting, so that looks good on him. He has a sharp haircut. Um, also, he doesn't look like he's, you know, he's trying to force a smile. He just kind of has a good, neutral, relaxed facial expression. So this one's about seven and a half, ten. Then we have the puppy pig. So he has a little bit of a goofy look on his face, but it kind of works because he has the dog, right? So girls will, if he had this, you know, this look in his first picture, it really wouldn't look good, but because he's got the dog on his arms, kind of makes sense. It's almost like, oh, he has a sentimental side. And, you know, it looks like, you know, him and the dog are having fun. They're laughing. So even though it's a little bit posed and his look is a little goofy, he gets away with it because of the context. So if I had to read this picture, I put it at 5.5 out of 10. Next one. So let's compare this to the picture where he looked like a sourpuss who had to take a shit. This picture is a lot better. First of all, he's not, again, he's not staring directly at the camera. He doesn't look like he's cranky. He doesn't look like he's in a bad mood. He actually looks like he's on some kind of a mission, like he's doing something. And you know, he, someone asked him, hey man, can I get a picture of you? Rather than, hey, can you guys take a picture of me? So overall, this picture looks a lot more natural and he looks better in it. He also looks very young in this photo, which is a good thing for him because he's a little bit of an older guy. Next, we have the photography picture. So this is a much better variation of this. First of all, you can see his face, which is definitely a plus. Second of all, the cropping is a lot better. You know, it's cropped maybe half an inch above his head, so he doesn't look short in it. It's taken from a downwards angle, so he actually looks more imposing. It still gets the same point across the as a hobby. And last picture is him, you know, in the city skyline. So he looks a little bit goofy in it, uh, but I think the smile is a lot more genuine. Uh, it just looks like more like he's having fun, he's having a good time with his friends, and one of them is like, yo man, let's get a picture of you, let's get a picture of you. It just looks like he's kind of having fun, having a good time, rather than trying to pose like, okay guys, come on, please take a picture. Like, it just, just has a much better vibe to it, he looks better in it, and it looks more natural. So you can see this is really a night and day difference. Uh, you know, before he was getting pretty much no success, then after this profile change, he started getting something like he's hooking up with two, three, four new girls a month, which for him is a nine day difference because before that he was hooking up with zero girls from online dating in five years or 10 years, something like that. So definitely a big nine day difference. Is there room for improvement? Yes, there is. You can get more activity picks. You put on some more muscle so he looks a little bit better in the pictures. You get, you know, maybe a cool picture of him, let's say, I don't know, fucking barbecuing or on a boat or doing some high value shit. So maybe a social proof picture. So yes, there's room for improvement. But this photo profile is a night and day difference. Again, because he looks more natural, he looks better, his body language is better, and the cropping is a million times better as well. All right, next let's take a look at our second case. So in the first example, I showed you how to take a horrible profile and turn it into a decent profile. Now I'm gonna show you how to take a decent profile and turn it into a really fucking solid profile. So this guy was having some success with online dating before he joined the mastermind. He was getting you know, a few matches a day, having some sporadic dates here and there, but his results weren't consistent and he wasn't, as they say, drowning in pussy. Well, let's take a look at what his profile looked like. So first picture, it's decent, right? This, I would put this photo at six out of 10. He looks pretty good in it. It's not super posed, but it's not great either. First of all, I think his hair is a little bit too unruly. He could benefit from a haircut. Second of all, he looks a little chunky in this photo, and that's simply because of the, you know, the winter jacket. I think this picture could be cropped a little better to make him look more imposing. And I just think that this could be an okay photo, maybe as your fourth and fifth, but this one should not be his main, right? Then we have this photo. So this is definitely gonna be the best one out of the bunch. This photo is probably like a 7.5 out of 10. Uh, again, it's definitely the best one. It kind of looks like Adrian Greener a little bit in this one. I think he definitely still benefits from a haircut, uh, but his beard game is on point. He looks natural, he looks pretty good, somewhat stylish. So this is definitely gonna be the best one out of the bunch. Unfortunately though, you're only as good as your worst photo. And you can see the next one, 
that his worst photo is pretty fucking bad. So whereas the previous picture was a 7.5 out of 10, this almost looks like you know a different person. This one is probably a one out of 10. He almost looks like Golem from Lord of the Rings. He's like, my precious. You know, he's just kind of benched over. He has a really creepy smile. Uh, and again, I think what was probably happening to him a lot is girls were seeing his first photo like, okay. They're seeing his photo, second photo like, oh, this guy's pretty good looking. And then they were seeing this photo and they're like, what the fuck? And a lot of chicks aren't gonna be like, you know what, maybe that's a really bad picture of him. I think most girls were just having a knee-jerk reaction and just left swiping right away when they saw this one. So I think really this photo was just holding him back a lot. So then we have this picture, and uh, this one is probably a 3.5 out of 10. Uh, definitely not as good as the first two photos. Uh, first two issues. First of all, you can't really see his face. This helmet is way too large. So this photo should have been taken with the helmet off or just a much better helmet. Second of all, his style isn't really that great. Like those pants look a little old and beat up. The shirt's a little too big for him. Uh, you know, again, the picture is cropped kind of poorly. So he looks kind of small in it. So overall, I would not a good picture, not one that he should be using, you know. If he was bad looking, maybe, yeah, but, you know, as a pretty good looking guy, no, definitely not a good photo of him. And last picture, again, so this one's going to be like a 3.5 out of 10. His, you know, his hair is even longer in this one. I think he definitely, definitely needs a haircut. It almost looks a little lazy and sloppy. Uh, you know, he's got the hoodie on as well, so it just kind of has a little bit of a lazy look. Also, his smile is a little weird. It's kind of like he's showing a few teeth. So this picture definitely should not have been used as well. So I think, again, we're going back to his previous profile, he had some decent photos, some one really good one, but a lot of chicks were just seeing the bad photos and they're like, eh, I don't know. Eh, and if a girl's like, eh, I don't know, most of the time you're gonna get a left swipe. Now let's take a look at his profile after he made some changes. So first thing we had him do was get a solid haircut, you know, get his beard trim, just really line everything up so he looks sharp and crisp. And you can see what a big fucking difference it made in his face. Now I still think that, you know, he looked pretty good with a long beard and that's the look he should do. But in terms of the haircut, when he got like, you know, the fade, he looks a lot better. He just looks a lot more organized. It just looks, his just face looks like just so, night and day difference. You can see a square jawline. He just looks much more of like a cover model. So first picture, really good. The cropping is good. Again, he's not leaving a lot of space here. You know, you just see his face clearly. So good picture. Second one, I think is even better. Uh, he looks just like some kind of like a businessman in it. It's a little post, yes. But I think he's going to get away with it because some of the other photos in his profile will balance it out. So it's okay if one or two of your pictures are a little posed. You don't want them to be too, too posed. But if they're a little posed, that is okay as long as you have a few natural looking ones. So this next picture, you know, this the suit one is probably a 7.5 out of 10, 8 out of 10, something like that. Uh, next picture is, I would say, probably the worst one out of the bunch. I would make the argument that he might not, he probably shouldn't even use this photo. He looks a little nerdy in it, but I think that might be, that might kind of work for him. Like it balances out, you know, his little bit more of aggressive look in the previous photo. Uh, you know, I think this one, you know, it's going to be open to interpretation, but you can take a look how this is his worst photo. His worst photo here is a lot better than his worst photo in his previous profile. So for that reason, you know, no girl is going to see this photo and be like, oh, you know, automatic knee jerk left swipe is just not the best possible representation of him. Next photo is really fucking solid. You can really see just how much better he looks when he just has a fresh cut. Uh, he ha his style is a lot better than when you saw, you know, with the old blue jeans and the oversized shirt. Looks a lot better. Uh, so yeah, overall, I like this picture a lot. Then we have the fifth pick. So this one is also really good. It might even, you know, that might should probably be higher up there, honestly. Uh, he's got the dog. He looks natural. He's relaxed. So even though he's looking at the camera, it works here because it doesn't look like he's posing too hard. It doesn't look like he's got like, look, I got the dog. I got the dog. Take the picture. It's more like him and the dog are chilling. And he's just like, yeah, whatever. Let's take the picture. So this photo works. Um, and then we have the last picture where he's just kind of like zoomed out. <laughs> he's just like in the desert. This is going to add not that much. It just shows that he likes to travel. So maybe he'll get half a point in the girl's mind because of this photo. It's not going to be a drastic difference. But overall, really the big, you know, what are the big differences between his profile now and his profile before, right? I wouldn't say that he looks a lot more natural or anything in this profile. It's just simply that he got a fresh cut. He got way better fashion. As a result of that, his overall vibe is just completely different. He looks like a confident, successful businessman rather than kind of like a slacker who just like, you know, doesn't know what he's doing in his life. The vibe's a lot better. He got, you know, more variance in photos and he just looks, you know, the photos are cropped better. They're taken better. It's overall much more solid profile, which makes sense because he got 
way better results with this profile. He went from getting a few matches a day to just getting dozens of photo, you know, matches every day, uh, having a lot more dates, having just overall a lot more success with chicks. All right, so what are the big takeaways here? First off, before you even start taking photos, take care of the basics, you know. Get a decent pair of clothes, uh, have your facial hair lined up, get a sharp haircut. You kind of saw in the second example really how it can make a night and day difference when you just take care of those things. Secondly, when you're taking photos, make sure you have at least decent body language, right? You don't want to be hunched over or, you know, kind of small. You pretty much want the opposite of what you saw in the first example, where you're taking up space, where you relax. You don't have to over-exaggerate and just be like, ah, oh, you know, but again, just something to be conscious of, right? And it's something to be conscious of in your day-to-day -day life anyway, because, you know, when you have good body language, you actually feel better, as science has proved. So it's just good to you know, be aware of your body language when you're sitting and standing. And then it comes down to really just looking your best possible version of yourself in your photos, right? So first off, you want to take a lot of pictures because you know some of them are going to come off weird. Uh, you, know, you want to try different angles, different lighting, different backgrounds, but also you don't want to try to force a smile or just try to be overly stiff. Just try to relax as much as possible. And this brings me to the second point, which is you want to look as natural as possible. So you don't want to look posed in your pictures. Now, if you have one or two that look posed, as I mentioned earlier, that's okay. But generally, you want to look as natural as possible. So you might be thinking, but how the fuck do I pose for pictures while still looking natural, right? It's a little bit of an oxymoron. So there's several solutions to this. First of all is activity pics, right? So when you're doing some activity, like something that requires your focus, like if you're pouring wine into a glass, right, that requires your attention. So when you're doing that, it's kind of hard for you to be post basically, you know, if I'm playing with my dog and I got Rager and I'm just like, nah, 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 right? Like it's hard for me to pose when I'm just fucking around. So activity picks are, you know, one of the solutions. Another one is just to have some fun with your photographer. So don't be overly stiff, you know, just be like, okay, man, take the picture. I typically, when I have someone take photos of me, I just crack jokes. I have a good time. That usually increases the likelihood of them getting that rare, natural Alex smile, you know, just shooting the shit. And that kind of also makes me more relaxed, helps with the body language also helps me look a lot more natural. So those are the two ways you can go about it. Also, another big thing is don't take four or five pictures. You wanna take 40 or 50 photos, right? The more pictures you take, the more likely you're to find one in that batch where you look natural and where you look good. And then there's a few little things, like for example, the cropping, right? You don't wanna crop, you know, leave a bunch of space above your head. That makes you look smaller. You don't wanna take pictures from a downward angle. You always be, you know, either neutral or, you know, low angle. And then of course, there's gonna be just blurring the background of your photo, little techniques and tricks like that that kind of make you the center of attention. So there's a few little things, but the main ones are of course, you know, looking sharp, getting natural looking photos where you look good at them. And that's really gonna be by far the biggest thing. All right, hopefully you guys found this valuable. For more information on this topic, check out this video I did two years ago. It also looks at what exactly makes a photo good for dating apps. Also show your support for this channel and just some love by smashing that subscribe button, hit the like button, click the bell for notifications so you stay notified when we put out new content. I finally fully recovered from the Rona, so I'll be putting out regular videos once again. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. And until next time.